First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekah Kadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of our Lord and Savior, man. The only begotten Son, man, of the nation of Israel. You so called Negroes, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. You know? Contrary to what your church has been teaching you, man, if you start to read the Bible for yourself, you realize the church has been teaching our people a lot of lies, man. You just got to read the Bible for yourself, man. The Bible is not a white man book, man. The Bible condemns the so-called white man, man. The Bible condemns wicked periodness, wicked periodness, man. So the Bible is against the so-called white man, man. The Bible is, is, is the history book. Or the, or the Negroes, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. It's, it's rules and guidelines on how we should treat one another, man. You know? Rules and guidelines, man, on how we should handle other nations. Um, you know, the to the possible elders, other nations of Israel, they rule well. Peace, salutation, and love. Peace, salutation, and love. To the elect of the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. And eventually all our people are going to receive peace, man. But when the Lord restore that peace to our people, it's going to be held on the so-called white man, man. And the other nations, man. It's on the white race period and the other nations, man. Because, see, our people been struggling for so long. The Lord been punishing us for so long, man. They think the so-called white man going to be forgiven for everything he done to us, man. No, man. He gonna pay for everything he done to us, man. Just like we paid for everything we done against the Heavenly Father, man, and His Son, man. And this is all in the Bible, man. You supposed to forgive your brother and your sister or, or your nation, man. We uh, we forgiving none that the other nations done to us, man. Get, get Psalm chapter two, right? Because the only the other nations, man, they the only they they don't hate they they. they when they hate us, they showing they hate for the Heavenly Father and His Son, man. Because in this Bible, it gives a description, a physical description of the Heavenly Father and His Son, man. And they dark-skinned men with woolly hair, man. So when these other nations treat us the way they do, and hate us the way they do, they showing they got a hate for the Heavenly Father, man, and His Son, man. Our Lord and Savior, our big brother. Go ahead, man. Psalms chapter 2 verse 1. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Right, so why do all these other nations rage? The so-called white man, Chinese, Japanese, the Arabs, the East Indians, the Africans. That's another thing. We're not Africans, man. We're the Israelites according to the Bible, man. We're the chosen people of the Lord, man. So we're the Israelites according to the Bible. We're not Africans neither, man. Do your research, do your history, man. You'll realize the Africans the ones helped gather us up on the slave ships, man. They the ones who the white man was trained, giving their, their water down rum to, to help find us and help gather us up, man. So why, why Shalom, on, bro. So why do the heathen rage, man? Right, man, like the brother said, they showed that on Shaka Zulu, man. Even when the so-called white man came to Zulu, Shaka Zulu, Shaka Zulu said, those are the Hebrews over there. He, 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 he deriferated himself from us, man. He's like, those are oh, those are the Hebrews, man. So even when you see movies like Hotel Rwanda, you see the movies Tears of the Sun, a lot of those different, um, you had those different struggles between tribes in Africa, man. You actually had the Hamites going against the Israelites, man. Because our people scattered on the four corners of the earth, man. So a lot of our people still over there in the land. And that's what that whole, that's what that whole power struggle be about, man. And the white man is always going to ban those, those uh, so-called African nations, man. Uh. And it shows you that with the Hussies and the Tussies, it shows you that on Hotel Rwanda, man. The people who, um, who, um, Don Cheetah, when he, when he had married a woman, man, he, that was representative of the Israelites, man. And those, uh, and, 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 the, and those people who was, who, who those, the, the, I forget which one it was, the Hussies or the Tussies, but the one who the government was backing, that was the Hermetic Nations, man. 
trying to push us out of that, just, just trying to continuously to um, keep us at the bottom. Go ahead, I'll read that again. It's Psalms chapter 2, verse 1. Why do the heathen rage right. and the people imagine a vain thing? Right, so why do the heathen rage and, the, and these other nations imagine a vain thing, man? Because if the, because the so-called white man fought out of his rulership today, you got, a, you got another, you, the Chinese think they coming up next to rule over us, man. And it's all, and if, and, and not, if not them, another nation, man. So why do the heathen imagine a vain, why do the heathen rage and imagine a vain thing? Go ahead. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together. Right, so the kings of the earth, read it again. The, the kings of the earth set themselves. And the rulers take counsel together against the Lord. Right. And against his anointed saying. They did so read it here from the top. The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed saying. So they take a counsel against the Lord and his anointed, man. So you see all these different nations having UN means, the Council of Foreign Relations, all those different means. They taking counsel, man, against the heavenly Father and His anointed and His people, man, and His people, man. Because when they take counsel against us, they taking counsel against Him, man. Go ahead. So they like, since the Lord ain't choose us, we gonna inflict hell upon them, man. We go, we go, we go, we go, we go, we 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 gonna be against them. So that's the mind frame of the other nations, man. Right. And like the brother was saying, man, they, 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 another way they take a counsel against the Most High, who you think they preparing for when they putting all these different weapons in space, man? Who you think they preparing for, man? They preparing for the return, man, of, the, uh, 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 of our big brother, Yahweh Shah, who the word even called Jesus Christ in the armies of heaven, man. Uh, and you can uh, look on you, I mean, uh, YouTube, well, YouTube, but you can also look on uh, Google now. They're releasing documents saying that they've been studying UFOs, you know, so-called UFOs. We know what they are. We know it, we know that they're the chariots. They already been knowing and been studying what they are. We know according to the scriptures through the spirit that those uh, so-called UFOs are uh, chariots that the angels use, the vehicles that they use to move around in the heavens. So they already know, you know, that um, that they up there. That's why they got all these weapons, and that's why um, Trump said that he want to get that space uh that space army set up. Cause he already know that they go come back. And it's already uh, prophesied in the scriptures that they was gonna try to uh, fight against them. Verse three. Verse two. The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against His anointed saying. Right. So this what the rulers and the kings of the earth doing, man. They, they taking counsel against the heavenly Father, and it's in the Bible, man. You just got to read it, man. Go ahead. Let us break their bands asunder. And this is what they saying. Let us break their bands asunder. We're going to keep them in slavery. We're going to keep them not knowing who they are. We're going to keep them under our feet. Go ahead. And cast away their cords from us. Right, man. Put them over there in that area over there. And that's the clue the area called the ghetto. Go. The reservation. That's them cutting it on, uh, saying Luke's and I are cutting that cars from us. Like, put them in their own area and we gonna go to our own area, man. You don't see no Chinese or Japanese trying to move to the hood or get on no reservations, man, the so-called white man, man. Read that again, huh? Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. Right. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. So the Lord been laughing at y'all the whole time, man. He just used y'all to punish us, man. He wasn't gonna come off his throne. He just used y'all to punish us. He's now punishment almost over, man. If but see, in the midst of y'all punishing us, y'all forgot who gave y'all that power over us, man. Y'all forgot about that. Y'all start getting prideful and, 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 and thinking y'all was doing it on y'all own, man. So now the heavenly father's gonna show y'all. Go ahead, y'all. He that sit up in the heavens shall laugh. And the Lord shall have them in derision. Right. Um, I'll pick up where he read it. Take over. He's saying this. He's saying this. 
Verse 5. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath. Come. He said he's going to speak to them in his wrath, meaning he's going to bring judgment upon them. You know? Psalms chapter 2. Verse 5. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath. God. So he's going to bring judgment upon them in, they, in his wrath. He's not just talking about what nation, he's talking about all of them. All of them had a derision. All of them think that, you know, that they all above us on their own, especially Esau. Esau got the most pride out of all of them, thinking that everything that he accomplished, he accomplished, he did it on his own, not knowing that the most high is the one that brought him up. And the same uh, power that brought him up is the same power that's going to bring him down. And begs them in his sword displeasure. Yet I have set my kings upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree that I will have said unto them, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance. Ah, so the most I said, You are the son. Yeah, ask of him, he didn't call on me. He said he's going to give us the heathen. Read the last part again. He said, Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathens for thy inheritance. Uh, he said he's going to give us the heathen for the inheritance, meaning we're going to rule over our oppressors. Because for so long, our oppressors have been ruling over us and having us in all this, uh, this hard bondage, these straits. But the Lord said, Call upon him, and we're going to have our enemies in our, our hands. They're going to be under our foot. They're going to be all pushed through. And the Lord said, call upon him. He only talking to the nation of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native Americans. And the utmost part of the earth for my possession. And the utmost part of the earth. So we're going to, have to, we're going to be ruling the earth. We're going to rule the entire earth. We're not going to share our kingdom with anybody else. All the other nations going to come down below us. Alright man, so this is what you supposed to be asking the Lord for, man. You don't supposed to be praying for these other nations. You're supposed to ask the Lord to give you, give them for your inheritance, man. That's their man praying. Lord, get keep, we're gonna keep ruling over them. Our sons' sons and they sons' sons are gonna keep ruling over them. Look how long it's been going on, man. So when you gonna get in your white right man praying, man. Because that's your father, that's all he's waiting on. You to cry to him. And like you say, and this is scripture. Ask the Lord on the heat for the heat to be your inheritance. Chapter 149. Huh. This is Psalm chapter 149, verse 1. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song. And his praise in the congregation of saints. That's what's going on now. Most High has woken up his elect people to sing that new song. And the only people that's going to be able to sing that song are his elect. 144. Excuse me, sir. Are y'all Christians? Y'all are y'all Bible believing Christians, sir? We I, we I, I figured that. Go ahead. So this new song is being sung right now, today, as we speak. Verse 2. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. 
Right, man. You got to be joyful in your king, man. Be joyful in your king, which is who the word ignorant called Jesus Christ, man. Because you look just like him, man. If he was here today, he would blend in right amongst our people, man. Because he a dark-skinned man with woolly hair, man. So he'd be able to walk through the hood and, 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 and communicate with us because he did it when he was on the earth, man. So rejoice in your king, man. Who the world called Jesus Christ, a dark-skinned man with woolly hair, man. He not no white man, man. You got it, huh? just, just. Verse 3, let them praise his name in the dance. Now those that, those, going back to uh, John 17 and 9, I believe, it says, uh, or 17 and 6, it says, uh, this is Yahweh Shai praying to the Father, said, Father, I have manifest thy name unto them, and the elect will have his name. I think over in, uh, is that in Sirach where it said, the elect shall praise my holy name, yeah. Sirach. Uh, the elect shall praise my holy name. So we know his name. You know, the elect knows his name. They're not going to be calling him God, Jesus, and all of that. They're going to call him by his name and call upon his name. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and the heart. And heart. For the, for the Lord taking pleasure in his people, he will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the, let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Right, man. So this is a message to the saints. You got it. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is a message to the saints, man. So we're going to see what the Lord say the man frame the saints supposed to be in, man. Because evidently, your churches don't know what's going on, man. Your churches got you thinking the saints supposed to be in the man frame of a homosexual or a faggot, man. Or some soft, some soft man walking around talking softly, man. No, man. Go ahead, huh? Uh, let me say this, too. They said, let them sing aloud upon their beds. So no matter what condition we are in or we're, what situation we're going through, we should give the most high praise. We should praise Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shah, on whatever we're going through. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth, and a two-edged two -edged sword in their hand. That two-edged sword is speaking about we should be able to cut them with the word. When they tell us that Easter, we're supposed to celebrate Easter, well, according to the scriptures, we know that we don't supposed to celebrate Easter, nor do we celebrate Christmas, because Jeremiah 10 tells us not to celebrate Christmas. It said, don't be like the heathen. Ones that uh, cut it down a tree and deck it with silver and gold. That's talking about a Christmas tree. This was way before the Messiah even came. So we know that. And that's where that two-edged sword come in. And guess what? This this, this the two-edged sword right now. But we actually going to get them at that real two-edged sword too, man. Hey, I'll never forget this, man. This is a youngster. He's trying to learn the truth, man. He's studying the Bible, man. Hit me with something one day, man. And, and I ain't never counted off his thoughts. He was like, he heard, once you get, he heard like, once you get to a, to, once you understand this Bible holy, it was gonna, it was gonna, it, it was gonna turn into a real sword. You know what I'm saying? Say, it's gonna turn into a real sword, man. That's a little youngster had hit me with that, man. Which I ain't said it is, but, hey. I felt him on there, you know what I'm saying? I felt him on there, man. Go ahead, uh. the, Hey, that ain't no doctrine, man. It ain't no new doctrine or nothing. But just, I, hey, 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 I can feel it. Go ahead, uh. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth, and a two-edged sword in their hand, to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. Right. Go ahead. That's what's happening now. We bring it out. That vengeance. We've corrected the wrong that people have lied to us over the years, you know, uh, 
about Christmas, about Easter, about eating pork, about, you know, we got our own people, the pastors telling us, you know, not telling us the truth or not keeping, uh, keeping uh, being truthful to the Most High and spreading His Word like it should be spread. So, you know, the Most High is, is bringing vengeance. That's why a lot of crime is going on now. You know, that goes back to Hosea 4 and 6. He's bringing it on his own people. He said, you know, uh, they rejected, you know, paraphrasing, they rejected his laws and, and statutes. He's going to reject them and their children. They're not going to be priests to him. So, just, just to make a quick correction, man, we just reading the sentence right here, man. This actually talking about the Lord going to give us that power to execute judgment on these other nations, man. You know, we just reading the sentence right here, man. This judgment and vengeance right here, talking about we bring that vengeance upon all the heathen nations, man. That's not a part of the chosen people of the Lord, man. Some your preacher scared to go into. Your preacher scared to read these scriptures right here in the Bible, man. Read that part again, huh? Because this talk is directly about straight on judgment on the heathens. Go ahead. So the high praises in our mouth, that's going into letting them know they judge. Go ahead, huh? Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth. This, like you said earlier, seeing that new song, this is a new song, man. We sing as if it were a new song, man. So you're going to have to dance to this rhythm, dance to this beat, man, in order to get it, in order to be saved. But the Lord going to have to give you that spirit in order to understand the song. Go ahead. Right. And they too. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. Just like our people was bind and had chains and yokes around their neck. Going back to Revelation 13 and 9, it says, He that leadeth in captivity must go into captivity. Those people that have, have, have taken the uh, Yasha Allah into captivity will go into captivity and they will be changed and have feather irons around their neck. To execute upon them the judgment written, this honor have all his saints. Praise ye to Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh So this honor going to have all his saints, man. So eventually everybody on this side going to get this honor in the kingdom, man. Right now, this honor is just for the for the, the elect, the one third of our people, man. But eventually, all our people are gonna be in their right man. They're gonna execute this judgment right here, man. Come on, they said the judgment written. Right. That means it's already set in stone. <laughs> it's, it's gonna happen. No doubt about it. Yeah. Most I say his his word is greater than his name. So it, he already said it, it was gonna happen. Gun, like the brother was saying, Yahweh Shah said, not one jot nor one tittle shall pass away uh, until all be fulfilled. Heaven and earth will pass away, but the word will not. The word will endure forever. Right, man. So this to be supposed to be the man frame of you saints, man. Don't you know, uh, get, 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 uh, get Exodus 15 and 3 right through, right? Then we'll go back to it. You had preacher? Huh. Nah, I've been in switch, man. This is Exodus chapter 15, verse 3. Let's go at the top. Verse 1. Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto Yahweh. Right, man. And this do this after we got delivered from Mar from ancient Egypt, man. We're gonna sing this same song again, man. According to Revelation uh, 15, get it, huh? We'll sing the same song, we'll get the same song again, man. When the Lord deliver us out of modern day heat. Go ahead. And spake, saying, I will sing unto Yahweh, 
we have tri uh, triumphed gloriously. Right. The we, horse. We, 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 we have, we, we, we sing a part of that song now, man. But once we really see what the Lord do for us, deliver us, man, then all the destruction he going to bring up all these heathen nations, we're going to sing that song with fear, man. Go ahead. It's going to be with fear, joy, and all that, man. It's going to be all mixed in one, man. Go ahead. Because when we see that, when the Lord show his power, man, it's going to be, hey, it's going to be a fearful sight. Go ahead, bro. The horse and his rider have he thrown into the sea. Right. So all the so-called white man rapping, man. His nuclear weapons, man. All his, all, all his different drones. Man, all that's gonna be all. Hey, hey. When the Lord show His power, all that's gonna be nothing, man. All that's gonna be like toys, toys to 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 the Most High and His men, man. Go ahead. And His saints, basically. Go ahead. Right? How is my strength and soul? And He has become my salvation. Right. He is my power, and I will prepare Him a habitation. And we prepare for your house, Shai. Prepare for him a habitation, man. We prepare for him a habitation right now, man. We send those spiritual sacrifices. We singing that we 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 we. It's like we hey. It's like we singing that we 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 ushering in the coming of our Lord and Savior, man. It's like you see Jake. When you, when you, hey, like you see them, you see them different Jakes, man. When they finna come into a boxing match or something, they had a song coming out before they come in, before they come in the war. Where you think where you think all that come from? Where you think that man frame come from? Man, we reading about it now, man. Say let the baby, you know, but this going all that's gonna energy is gonna be turned toward the heathen, man. Go ahead, uh, huh? Right, like he said, the get I played the war drums, man. You had the whole nation. We used to have the, the tribe of Judah come out before we went to war, man. And got to get the praise in first, man. Get everybody in their white right spirit, man. Like he said, Gad used to do it, man. Gad used to, hey, 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 hey. Gad getting them souls right, getting them that right man, man. They used to scare them so-called white man, man. They used to scare them, man. The tribal Issachar used to used to have a marching band, man. During, during the time of the Alamo, that battle there, Issachar come through with the marching band first, man, before they go to war, man. But all this, we reading about it, where it come from now. Because it's, it's our heritage, and it was in our spirit to do that, man. Even with Jake, you know what I'm saying? Even like Jake, like you got the different athletes, man. They like to listen to music before they get ready to play a game or something. Get in that, get, get in that right mind frame, man. Get in that mode. Right, get in that mode, man. <laughs> so we singing this song to get our people in that mode, man. And eventually, the, the elect our people going to get in that mode, man. Go ahead. Here's my power. See, the church is singing you a song to keep you out of the mode you're supposed to be in, man. The church is singing the song to keep you, keep you on, um, to keep you sleep, man. Keep you docile, man. Right, man. Right. Now you got some good gospel song that get you in that mode, you know. You got some come up. You got a few on, man. Like you said, them old songs, man. Listen to some of them old Williamson brothers, man. Right. He has what I said, man, swing low, sweet cherry. He is my power, and I will prepare him a habitation. Right. My father's power, and I will exalt him. So what? So get on. He said we should prepare him a habitation. Get on. Get that in Isaiah 19, y'all. Read the last verse. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is a man of war. So for all you people, yeah, the Lord is love, but guess what? He a man of war too. Go and his men, his saints, are men of war, man. So that's why the so-called Negro, Hispanic, Latino, and Native American Indian, man. That's why when somebody do something against them, they ready to go to war, man. They just got all that energy turned tur towards their own people, man. But eventually, that energy is going to be turned to where it's supposed to be, man. Because we men of war, man. The whole nation of Israel are men of war, man. And we're reading the Bible, man. So stop thinking this is a weak book in the soft book, man. This Bible teach you how to be a man of war, man. Go ahead. Mentally and physically. Go ahead. 
I'm going to read it again. Exodus 15 and 3. The Lord is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. Right. The Lord is a man of war. So the God, God in the Bible, he a man of war. He a man of war, man. So somebody hear you, why you talking like that? That's that old soft white man doctrine, man. Because he got a light voice. He want everything to be top. He want you to talk soft because you scare him when you come, when you talk how you supposed to, man. When you act how you supposed to. This old big bad gray white man with all his nuclear weapons and missiles, he gets scared just by hearing you talk and by seeing you in your white man frame, man. He feared it. You got it up. Uh, uh, verse 15, 60, go ahead. Bro. I can add in. That's how you have a shot spoke. He spoke with authority. He spoke, uh, it said, uh, his voice was as uh, many waters. So he spoke loud and with authority when he talked. So he didn't speak with no soft voice. He spoke as a man. Oh. Right, because well, it, it's Luke 19, man. When they say who the word ignorant calls Jesus Christ, they say he was an obscure man, man. When you look that word obscure up, it means severe in conduct and appearance, man. So he had a severe look to him, too. Oh, and he had that. You got. He had to be that way, man. You can't be soft around these people right here, man. You can't come with that passive attitude, especially amongst the men of these people, man. The real warriors amongst these people, they not respecting that, man. That's why a lot of our men don't go to church, man. Because a lot of men of war, they just got their energy turned towards their people right now. But eventually, they going to get it right, man. The elect of them. Nah, it's going to go into the altar. It's going to be an altar in Egypt for a witness to him. All right, this is Isaiah 19 and 17. And the land of Judah shall be a terror unto Egypt. Everyone that make it mention. Start, start at verse, uh, start at verse uh, 14. This is Isaiah 19 and 14. The Lord hath mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof. See, in the midst of Egypt. In the midst thereof. In the midst thereof. And they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof. So the Lord has given a perverse spirit in this place, man. That's why you see all this stuff going on, man. That's why you see, that's why you see on uh, the so-called white man making all these laws for faggots and homosexuals. It was prophesied in the Bible, man. The Lord has have, have mingled a perverse spirit in this place, man. That's why you see a lot of our people wearing skinny jeans, man. Color in their damn hair. That's the perverse spirit the Lord have mingled in this place, man. The Lord control everything that goes on on the planet Earth and in the in the inside outside in the whole universe, man. Go ahead. As a drunken man staggering in his vomit. Right. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt. This this is what it's going. This is what it's going to come down to, too, man. A lot of the jobs going to go away, man. So eventually there ain't going to be no work in Egypt. Go ahead. Which Why you think Trump trying to bring all the jobs back now? Go ahead. Which the head or tail, branch or rush may do. Huh. So, so whether you at the top of the, of the, of the food chain on working in a high position or a low position, eventually the work is going to be shut down in Egypt. Go ahead. And that day shall Egypt be likened to women. Right. And it shall be, a, and shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of the Lord of hosts. So this why you got to get in there, get in there, get in that mind frame of your how about shimmy how shout the Lord, man. You got to get in that wartime mind frame because this what's coming, man. War coming to this place. So you got to get ready, man. You got to get your, get your mind ready for war, man. You got to get prepared mentally. Go ahead. Which 
he shaking over it. Right. A lot of a lot of people like to talk about Jake in the hood, man. Move outside the hood and talk about Jake in the hood. But guess what, man? The majority of the Jake in the hood, man, frame on more, man. They energy just wrong right now. But like the Lord say, in the day of his power, his people gonna be willing, man. So the Lord gonna turn a lot of them Jakes in the hood in they right man frame, man. So for all you niggas that, that, that want to move outside the hood, then y'all on some soft spirit and stuff, man. You know, it's a battle to everything, man. But war coming to this place, man. Don't forget about that warrior side, that warrior spirit that's supposed to be in you. Because the Lord is a man of war, man. And just like he just read, that the high praise of the Lord, of the saints of the Lord, that the high praise of the Lord, that, you know, that basically telling the saints that the high praise of the Lord be in his mouth. With a two-edged sword in their hand, man. So yeah, we're gonna praise the Lord, but at the same time, we got our mind frame on war, cause we know the Lord coming back for war, man. And if you if you look at if you look at what's going on, if you if you if you one of these people, man, I guarantee you ain't no peace where you at. It's war, man. So it's been a war where we at, man. It ain't been no peace where we at. So that's why I say, and the Lord done that purposely, man. The majority of Jason in the hood, they in that war mind frame, man. It's just when they, when they, when the Lord turned that man right, man, they already ready for that, man. Go ahead, all right. Verse 17. And the land of Judah shall be a terror unto Egypt. They ain't saying everybody in the hood gonna be saved or none of that, man. But I'm gonna make that point, man. The Lord got it. Trust me, man. Esau, Esau, Esau know the history. Esau knew the bloodlands, man. The main, you know, the, the main war is he put him in the worst parts of the ghetto, man. He done that purposely, man. Esau know the bloodlines. Go ahead. I, just to make that point, man. Don't get stuck in your mind like every nigga from the hood wicked. Every nigga from just because he doing wickedness now, man. Uh, right now he could be doing wicked and the most I wake him up the next day. And he be in his right mind. Praising the most high. Right. Come. Like the brothers say, more good brothers in the hood than bad brothers, man. Jake do stuff out of what they, they do stuff out of survival, man. That's mind what these people do, man. If they were put in a good situation, if they was if they was looked at in society, if people just treated them like they went from the hood, you would get a better outcome from them, man. But when you treat them like they ain't nothing, like they less than something, yeah, you gonna get that warrior side from them, man. You gonna get the same energy you put out, man. Go ahead, huh? All right, verse 17. That's why Paul said you know how to be a base and how to be a bound, man. Go ahead, bro. You better, you better. Go ahead, huh? He know how to do a both. He know how to deal with the uh, different uh, types of people. You gotta, you gotta know how to, uh, you know, how to, know how to balance. It. Right, so it said the land, we're going to be a terror unto Egypt, man. We, this is a terror right here, man. We on the street corners calling the white man out for everything he did, man. Just letting him know he going down, man. Don't you know, 20, 30 years, 40 years ago, man, you couldn't even look this devil in his face, man. You had to walk that, walk with your head down. But you know how it was, about, you know, like the brother say, about 50, 60 years ago, man. You couldn't even look this man in his face, man. You get lynched, man, for nothing. But just for raising your, just for lifting up your voice. Just for speaking up for yourself. Right, man. So it's saying Egypt right here, man. But according to Revelation 18, man, America is spiritual Egypt, man. So the word Egypt just means house of abundance, man. So this is spiritual Egypt, what, uh, what it's talking about right here, man. Finish that idea, finish that, then get, get that to see. When you look across the news, man, what do you see, man? You don't see no peace. You see war. So don't be, don't be trying to um, 
Don't be trying to, you can't get away from it because it's coming. So the best thing for you to do is prepare your mind for it. Prepare yourself for what's coming, man. And the way to prepare is get in these scriptures so you can have an understanding of what's going on, man. Go ahead, man. That's what it see. That's that's what the churches like to do, man. That's what our people like to do. Go somewhere and get in their comfort zone and don't want to deal with reality, man. But when you deal with the reality of these people, man, it's, it's been a war against these people, man. It's, it's a war on these people, man. That's why our people locked up, shot down in the streets, man. Uh, they, they neighborhood full of drugs and guns. That's war on us, man. So stop turning up. So stop trying to not deal with reality, man. The reality of, of the condition your people is in. The reality that the so-called white man and the other nation have declared war against our people and the Heavenly Father, man. Your churches ain't gonna tell you about that, though, man. Your pastor ain't gonna tell you that tomorrow because he a false prophet. Go oh, ahead, yeah, How you doing, sister? Right, man. Go ahead. See, see we're going to read the scriptures that your pastor skip over every Sunday. And we're going to read the scriptures that he read and break them down right. Go ahead. All right, this is uh, Isaiah 19 and 17. And the land of Judah shall be a terror unto Egypt. Right. Everyone that make it mention thereof shall be afraid in himself. Get quick scripture. Uh, get, get, a terror shall make him afraid on every side. It's in Job. Uh, we're going to get Ezekiel too. Uh, go ahead. Uh. Because of the counsel of the Lord. So this is, read it again from the top. Why, ter why is the terror going to make him afraid? Said, and the land of Judah shall be a terror unto Egypt. Right. Everyone that make it mention thereof shall be afraid in himself. Right. Because of the counsel of the Lord of hosts, which he have determined against him. Because of the counsel of the Lord of armies, the Lord of war, which he determined against this place, man. So this making everybody afraid, man. You got it? Yeah. Read it real quick. All right, this Job chapter 18. I'm going to start at verse 10. Just like the so-called white man, what do you say? He got a war on terror. That's real, man. Terrorists have made this man afraid on every side, man. He don't know. He already, he, 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 he learned what the scriptures mean, man. So he don't, like, he don't know where, where his downfall going to come from. Not only is he worried about if them Arabs going to pay him back for all he did. Now he like, damn, almost in every one of my city, these guys rising up. These, these so-called people we had in derision. He called me out for my judgment. Then he called me out for secret stuff that I had hid that don't nobody supposed to know about. So it got to be the counsel of the Lord. Go ahead, huh? Job chapter 18, verse 10. The snare is laid for him in the ground. There it go. The snare is laid for him in the ground, man. Going back to Obadiah, he have laid a wound under thee, and that was not a word. Go ahead. And a trap for him in the way. Right. So a trap and a snare have been laid for the so-called white man, man. And for this country, America. Go ahead. Terror shall make him afraid on every side. There it go. Terrors shall make him afraid on every side, man. So he not only so he not only worried about out the outside, outside threat, man. Now he like, he thought we considered domestic terrorists. We considered domestic terrorists to him. Martin Luther King was considered a domestic terrorist, a national security threat to this country. That's why they killed him. Malcolm X was considered a national security threat for this country. That's why they killed him. Do your research on it. Uh -huh. Right. Tulsa, Oklahoma, Black Wall Street. Black Wall Street. was 1921. It was considered a national security threat for America. That's why they went and bonded, man. Economic. Right, economic, uh, an economic national security threat, man. That's why they bonded, man. So this is like the scriptures say, terror should make him afraid on every side, man. So wherever the white man, he don't got nowhere to run or hide. Terrorists have made him afraid on every side, man. Go ahead, all. Uh. See, he really, 
this guy really scared. He's not going to show you that, man. But with all that technology he got, he's he, he, he living in fear every night, man. He's not going to show it to you. Just like you see them white cops, and they shoot Jake down. They don't know what made them do it. They, they, even with them guns, they still got a fear for Jake, man. Some, they still got this type of, they got the perpetual hatred, but it's also a fear, man. Well, well I got to get him before he get me. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Verse 11, terror shall make him afraid on every side. So don't he got a war on terror? Even though he's using it to take resources, he's still using that for he can get in position, man. Because he know the prophets. He know who the Carmanians are. Why you think Trump all of a sudden talking about going to Iran? But what do the scriptures say? When the Carmanians join in the battle, then the, the, the dragons of Arabia should get the upper hand, man. So terrorists have made this guy afraid on every side. He's not going to tell you that, but the scriptures tell us that. Oh, you got it off. And shall drive, drive, so drive him to his feet. And shall drive him to his feet, man. So terrorists have made this white man afraid on every side, man. That's why he always spying. That's why he always want to know what everybody's doing, man. Got cameras, got cameras everywhere, man. That's why. Because terrorists have made this guy afraid on every side. Get, get the definition of terror. Get the, go ahead. Get the, get the Google definition of terror. Go this is Isaiah chapter 48, verse 22. There is no peace. Says the Lord unto the wicked. Esau is the wicked according to the Bible, man. So it ain't no peace for him, man. Even though he tried to look like he all peaceful, he smile, like he just enjoying himself, man. He not. Go ahead. That's why he constantly making up laws to catch you up, man. Because in his mind, he terrified when you taking him down, man. He know he gonna come down, man. It's a, a state of intense fear. Terror. A state of intense spirit. So the Lord said, terrorists have made him afraid on every side. Go ahead. One that inspires fear. One that inspires fear, man. So this fear is pumping through his veins. Discourage. A fright. Aspect. A fright aspect. All right. That's all. This guy just a fright, man. So the fear has took a hold of him on every side. Go ahead, huh? Back to this. You had something else smoke today? Uh-uh. No, that's bad. Hey, read that lift it down on that in Joe. On which one? When you was it? Joe? Yeah. Go ahead, though. 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 Right, this is uh, Isaiah 19:17, and the land of Judah shall be a terror unto Egypt. Everyone that making men make mention thereof shall be afraid in himself. Right. Because of the counsel of the Lord of hosts. Should be afraid in himself. Go ahead. Because of the counsel of the Lord of hosts. Go ahead. Which he have de determined against it. Which he have determined against it, man. So just like when Moses prophesied to Pharaoh, let my people go, and the Lord brought all those plagues. It, the, the spirit of the prophets are something to the prophets, man. So here you go again. The prophets right back in their lot. And they let on, let, let, uh, let, let, let modern day Pharaoh know. That's why you got in Romans 9. Even when the Lord he can talking about Esau, he, why you think he compared Esau to Pharaoh? In Romans 9, it switched from, I will show mercy upon whom I will go from Esau to Egypt. 
because it's the same place, man. Go ahead. That was Paul writing that letter through the spirit, man. He had the spirit of the prophets on him, man. And it's, and it's being prophesied right now. It's going down right now. Go ahead. And that day shall there be an altar to the Lord. So this that habitation. That's the scripture I wanted. But, but hey, 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 hey we're gonna read a little read a lot of scriptures, man. But like you said, this when it said we should prepare a habitation for the Lord, this is the habitation. This is the altar right here, man. We sit it up sacrifices. And the Lord and eventually this sweet this deep. These spiritual sacrifices we sending up, this is sweet savior smell going up into the Lord knows, man. He smelling this and smelling it, and he getting hyper and hyper, man. Your house shot, he getting hyper and hyper, man. Like you said, and, hey, the, the, the damn vengeance in his heart, man. So he bouncing around there, man. He just, you know, just 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 putting you in a man frame of what's going on, man. How'd you for Jake go to war, man? Go right. Go ahead. And that day shall be an altar to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt. This that altar right here. We sitting up spiritual sacrifices in the midst of the land of Egypt. So this that preparing that habitation for Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. And they fill up that the border thereof to the Lord. Right. And it's a pillar at the border. This to of the Lord right here. To be what? And it shall be for a sign. It's, this is for a sign. And for a witness. And for a witness. Unto the Lord of hosts. Right, unto the Lord of armies, man. You have a why you have a shot. Go ahead. In the land of Egypt. In the land of Egypt. Alright. For they shall cry unto the Lord because of the oppression. Who else doing that? Oppressing. Who else crying unto the Lord because of the oppressor? It's prove who this talking about, man. And I'm going to say this, man. For you Israelite groups, don't forget to go into this part too. You teach your people, you edify your people. Don't forget to prophesy against Esau, man. Don't forget to, don't forget to, don't forget to bring out these prophecies neither, man. As they go hand in hand. Go ahead, huh? And he shall send them a savior. Right. And a great one. Come. And he shall deliver them. Right. We was reading about it earlier. Go ahead. And the Lord shall be known to Egypt, and the Egyptians shall know the Lord in that day. Right. You stop right there. Go ahead, Job chapter 18. I'm going to start back at verse 10. The snare is laid for him in the ground. See, the snare is laid for him in the ground, man. Who is this talking about? Go ahead. And a, and a trap for him in the way. Terror shall take terror shall make him afraid on every side. That's and why he started the war on terror. Terror's made this man afraid on every side, man. So even though it was a war to go take resources, it was a war to get in position too over there, man. Get in strategic position, because terror made him afraid on every side. Who they protected? Them fake Jews in the land, man. So that's part of it too, because terrorists had made them afraid on every side too over there, man. They surrounded by them Arab nations. They surrounded by the dragons of Arabia, man. Right. Come. It's a drive. Him. Go to start in verse five over there. Go back up to verse five. Job chapter eighteen, verse five. Now you look on the news, man. All it is is you got trade wars going on. You got a, you got, you been had war in the Middle East. America been at war for so long in the Middle East, ever since 2001, man. When they knocked the trade center down, America been over at war in the Middle East, man. They went to Iraq, they went to Afghanistan, then they went into, um, they went into Libya. Now they in Syria, man. And they still got troops in Afghanistan and Iraq, so they ain't never won those wars, man. So America gonna be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction, man. And the so-called white race gonna pay for all the hell and slavery they brought upon our people, man. Just like they sold our kids into slavery, they kids gonna get sold into slavery, man. God, thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Holy Bible. Right, right, like the brother said, man. 
when the American government destroyed the trade centers, man, because they lied, like they used that for a reason to go in Iraq, you know, to go in uh, go in Afghanistan, you know, they used that for a reason, man. And I'm gonna say this, man, I love to get on Esau and his kids around, man. You you just imagine what they they had our kids used to sit with their feet on their belly, man. I use them as footstools, man. All stuff they done, like how they used to handle us American guy kids, man. It show you that in that movie, what is it, 12 Years of Slave, when the man came and snatched David Banner White, and, and, and Dave Louis couldn't say nothing, his son like, Dad, you gonna let him do it? Huh? That was the buck. Right, and they, and they killed him dead right there, man, for just speaking for his life, man. Right, man. How you doing? Hey, can I ask you a question? We believe in the Bible. This is the Bible. Everything we said coming out of the Holy Bible. Right. No King James was, was a black man with woolly hair, right? Yeah. Did you know that? I used to have hair. Woolly hair. <laughs> Go ahead. I see you like this. <laughs> right. They supposed to be though, man. You know? It is what it is, man. Just like you said, terror should make them afraid on every side. It's that time, man. It's that time. Go ahead. And while the Lord said, he gonna, we, we gonna do according to his anger, man. That's why he say that, man. Because we, we are merciful people, man. We'll still have mercy on them no matter what they done to us, man. We'll still show them some type of mercy, man. So the Lord gonna turn that switch on, man. He gonna turn that switch on. He gonna turn that switch on us when he flooded the whole earth and left eight people. That's that man frame the Lord gonna put us in when it's time, man. Imagine that man frame. I'm gonna wipe out the whole earth. Every, all these people I created, I'm gonna wipe them out and save eight and rebuild. Imagine that type of anger being put on you. Come. And the Most High about to do that with the uh, with Israel uh, during the time of Moses. He about to make Moses a great nation. I still got it. But uh, Moses said a wise thing to the Most High. So like the brother said, that's the type of mindset the Most High going to give to us. Because we can't get mad enough. Even, at, even if we found out everything they did to us, we still can't get mad enough. So we don't know all what he saw has done over the years. So, you know, what little we do know, it makes us mad. But the Most High knows everything from the beginning to the end. So... Therefore, that's why his anger has to be put on. I got a precept. This is Psalm chapter 137, verse 7. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem. Right, man. So the Lord, so, uh, it's David or Asaph. Don't say. I think it's David though. Remember, remember the cheers from Edom, oh Lord. So I say remember the remember the cheers from Edom, they whole nation, the whole race of people. Remember the cheers from Edom, oh Lord. Go ahead. In the day of Jerusalem. Right. Who said, raise it, raise it. Even to the foundation thereof. Right. This boy ain't had nothing to do with them when the Babylonians took us down. This how much they hated us, man. They like raise it, raise it to the ground. That was the day they looked for. Go ahead. Our daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed. So they always had their pact with the Hamites, man. Who did Esau go and marry? When, 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 when Esau was born, Esau ran off and married the Canaanites, man. So they been had their pact with the Africans. So it wasn't far best when he was trying to put us into slavery. The Hamites were right there, and the, and the Arabs had them over helping them get us, man. Go ahead. Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. Because you so called Africans, you was ne you next to that you 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 next in line or to our worst enemy after Esau, man. Y'all was the one we was born with that whole time, man. It was y'all, man. Go ahead. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stone. Huh. Back at Job 18, verse 5. Yeah, the light of the wicked shall be put out. And this is what's going on right now, man. Because the wicked got a light too. 
Because he, he known as Lucifer. In the book of uh, Isaiah, the 14th chapter. But what did it say? The light of the wicked shall be put out, man. Go ahead. And the spark of his flame shall not shine. Right, man. So that, now you see America, the light of America is going out right now, man. 